Mm -hmm. Tap this, touch 3D, mm -hmm. perfect. Standard. Cool. Okay. Okay. It's by default, it's going to give you a volume uh, diameter of full. That means the full okay. eight centimeters. And then the height is going to give you maxillary and mandible by default. Okay. If you change the volume height, it'll toggle to lower. Okay. So you only have the, the mandible. Okay. And then this upper is the maxillary. Okay. But the default is full. Cool. Okay. And so I would hit OK. Oh, sorry. You can actually use your finger and move it around oh, different positions. Pretty cool. But hit the OK button. And that tells the machine that um, <clears throat> you're in that program. Then you adjust the patient size. So like uh, Dalton and I mm -hmm. would be this patient size. It would be mm -hmm. the, the fourth patient size for adult males. Okay. For yourself, the default, maybe it's the default, but the middle patient position would be like for yourself. Okay. Large males... Uh -huh. They would be on the fifth one. Okay. So this sets the exposure parameter Got for it. that image. Mm -hmm. that, but it's important also to see this. See where it says resolution? Mm -hmm. It says normal. Mm -hmm. uh, normal resolution is good for implant planning. Okay. If you toggle it to high resolution, also good. Okay. Probably more resolution than is needed, but that's what that setting is okay. for. If I tag it but one more time, well, HD is good too. But do not use low dose. Okay. It just um, it's it'll be a CT image, but it doesn't have the details okay. that you need to see. Okay. Cool. So, and like you were saying, Joe, for for this video, first we get this, we add the patient in or find them, then correct. we go to this right away, set the setting here, and then we get the patient position. Correct. Cool. Yep. So then I would position. The patient would be in the machine. Yeah. Like and this. Then drop with the chin. Yep. Yep. Line have up the, the lasers. Position. Yep. And then you just tell the machine that I'm. You have to go 3D. Go 3D. Perfect. And then there's a ready button that shows up after this. Yep, you're the machine moving. So this ready button, allow, it tells the machine that I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. This 90 degree button could be used if you want to see a profile of the patient. So if you're positioning the patient, and because the sensor is kind of wide and obstructed your view, you can't see the laser as well. You can see from the side where the laser is positioned with this wheel. You can't see it better now that way. Yeah. yeah. And also you can check the clearance of the shoulders. Okay. Good point. So you can observe that too. So then you hit the 90 degree back. It'll rotate mm. back. The shoulders seem to, seem to be the trickiest thing. That's what seemed to make them have to be get taken over and over is <laughs> what I've seen at least from a layman perspective. Yes. And then hit the ready. And then whenever the ready is synchronized to the, the software in here, the ready goes solid green. Okay. It'll blink, 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 sort of. Um, 